Hey everybody, we are the Ghost Geeks and we are back for another awesome adventure. Today we're headed to... The Old Park of Texas. Ballinger, Texas for the Old Park. Heck yeah. We have this place the entire weekend and we are headed back to do some hardcore investigation. Uh, and it's a special weekend too, it's my birthday. <laughs> so hopefully I bring some energy with that. Oh, yeah. But we are on the road, we're about an hour out right now. Uh, we are super excited to do this. We got some people joining us uh, today as well. So it's going to be one heck of a weekend of investigations. We're gonna go live a whole bunch of times, but by the time you see this, it's already gonna be past that. So hopefully you were watching our Facebook and our YouTube because we're gonna go live there. If you didn't see that, then you just heard this, then guess what? You need to head over to Facebook and like our page and follow it and you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel because this is where you're gonna find out about stuff like this. Not to mention, we're getting ready to gear up for our 1,000 subscriber super giveaway. We're gonna be giving away an adventure with us plus some gear and all sorts of great merch. So you need to be signed up for that because only subscribers are gonna be eligible for that. So until then, let's get to the whole park and we're gonna do some awesome, awesome investigating tonight. You guys ready? Happy yeah. birthday! Yeah, let's do this! So we just turned the corner and there is something sitting in this dentist chair. Oh, it's a chair. Get out of the hole. What is it? Welcome back to the Old Park Hotel in Ballinger, Texas. Tonight, we start a two-day investigation of not only the hotel, but the massive cemetery that holds so much of the history of this once bustling West Texas Railroad town. Make note of where these recorders are being placed as we use a sound grid to help filter out exterior interference and isolate audio evidence. All right. This is Kiki with Ghost Geeks, leaving EMF recorder on the shelves upstairs in the hallway. You see, the old park hotel doesn't wait for the sun to go down. No. This hotel is always active, which is why we get everything rolling before we all head out for dinner. No, I'm going with you. Oh, you're going with right. Yeah, I'm locking the door as well. Is everybody out? Yeah. He's coming straight over, right? Okay. And with the shut of the door, and the click of the lock, the spirits here come out to play. Remember the recorder Kiki put on the shelf? That's where these sounds are coming from. None of the other recorders in the building, the one downstairs, the one in the front lobby, or the one in the back room, are recording anything. The activity seems to be isolated to this back hallway, where we now hear two children arguing over toys. Now watch just beyond the threshold as one child finally has had enough and screams give me it back and another child looks out the door to see if he's in trouble. In many places 
this would be considered the peak of your investigation, but that's just not the way the old park hotel works. It's just getting warmed up. Watch what happens next. This would not be the only appearance of the Lady in White this weekend. The spirits on the first floor weren't about to let those on the second have all the fun. As we return from dinner, blissfully unaware of the activity brewing in the dark hallways, we now turn our attention to the job at hand. Though it already seems the old park's nightlife is simply waiting on us. While owner Dan is giving the tour of the downstairs, we reach the doorway to the room with the Ouija table in it. And as we stand in front of that darkened threshold, something is trying to get our attention. You have to lift the experience, and that's the way this building has been for the last five years. It has been word of mouth. People coming out here with their one experience after another, after another, after another, after another. Um, several months ago, Three women came back here during an event. Put your back to that. And we're all up front. <laughs> we're all up front. Door. And Put your back to that door. these three women were like, we're going to go off and do our own thing. We're like, go find. So we're up front, just like what we were doing earlier. <laughs> Did you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden we hear all three women scream at the same time. And they come looking back. And we're all looking at her, they're all freaking out. And we're like, what happened? And they're like, we can't believe what we just saw. And we're like, well, try us. Especially me, I was like, try me, I've seen it all in here. They go, a naked old man, frail old man, just ran right across the hallway right in front of us. And he didn't have any clothes on whatsoever. In this doorway, it seems something was pulling the energy out of the air. Uh, you guys feeling something? Yeah. Oh, God. How cold is that doorway? The air temperature was easily 20 degrees colder than the hallway. Uh, who in here has seen the Ouija table? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Ouija board table is awesome. Yeah, there's a Ouija table in there, um, which is really interesting. Y'all might feel over here and come up here and just stand in front of this doorway. It's literally freezing. And then there's something that's wanting to touch the back of your head. Jesus. <laughs> a lot of women back here well, men too. Mostly women. It really comes out at women. This is where we cut the um, on the SLS camera. Right. A lot of women get their hair pulled back here. Um, Connie's had her ponytail like yanked pretty hard back here before. Other women have had their ponytail shaved. You, what room were you in? Other women have had their ponytail shaved. You, what room were you in? The. Was it this room or upstairs? Where you had your experience. Being we'll save it if oh, we're upstairs. Upstairs. Okay, we'll save it. I thought for some yeah. was done. But we were in that room right there, that front room, when we had something thrown down the hallway at us. Yeah. I was sitting in my chair going, wondering what's going to happen next. And this particular door... Was what? What was that? What just happened? I don't know. That sounded like something came down the hallway. On the night of the investigation, we chalked this up to tripping over a cable. However, 
Now that we can zoom in and see the cable, we clearly can see it never moves, indicating that Dan didn't trip. Instead, the cable was yanked from further down the hallway. What was that? Another compelling part of this is to take notice of where everyone turns to look for the sound. Everyone is looking down the hallway, and here's why. Let's take a look from the other end of this hallway. Right before the sound of the cable moving, you'll notice a shadow across the wagon's bottom. The cable actually moves away from the wall on the stairs. What was that? And with this activity, we break into our groups to begin our investigation. So join us now upstairs with Kristen's group, as it seems they've captured the attention of a child. Or is there more happening than what they thought? Room 7, there is a card from a deck of cards on the headboard. What is that card? That's the boo boo that he's going. Oh, yes. Okay, boo boo. He's out in the hall. Okay, out the hall. Shh, shh, shh. Where out the hall? I'm the hall. Somebody take me out there. I can't see you. Okay, let me get the camera on. Okay. Can you can you touch the dog or make make one of these these boxes light up to red? Please. Did you come in here? Thank you so much. Do you do you like that dog? Kristen's team now goes into the room to continue investigating, and this is where someone else joins the conversation. Are you busy working tonight? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Is that the bear? Yes. Yeah, but there's cameras. Yeah, there's cameras out there where you have cameras captured. Yes. Yes. Okay, so Ryan just came out of the closet. Did you have anything you wanted to say to him? Did you want me to go in the closet? Did you want me to go in the closet? Can you make it light up? Okay, I'm going to go... Stand in the closet for a minute. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to go stand in the closet. Can I come out of the closet now? Okay, I'm going to come out, okay? Kristen's team immediately stops Brian's EVP recorder to listen to the voice he just heard on his headphones. On the live review, you can clearly hear a girl say, yeah. What they didn't know was at the same time on Kristen's EVP recorder in the closet, that male voice we just heard says no. Sweetheart, oh. <laughs> clear. Listen, oh, yeah. hey, was that you that we just heard say yes when I asked if I could come out of the closet? Was that you? Was that you? 
Would you like me to go back in the closet? Okay, I'm going to go back in the closet, okay? <laughs> okay, here I go. You want the recorder? Is she trying to play hide and seek with somebody? <gasps> Is that what we're doing? Are we playing hide and seek? Did you go in the closet with her? As Kristen counts down, we get one last EVP from this little girl during this session. We can't make out what she's saying, but perhaps she's saying thank you as she's being told to go to bed now. Leave a comment on what you think she's saying. Eight. Nine. Now we venture downstairs with my team as we settle into the Ouija table room, where we decide to see if anything wants to come forward and communicate with us. All right, well, that is definitely lining up. So you see, you think it has something to do with your hand, but it's it's measuring electricity. Right. So, um, we don't give off enough to make we it. Don't, yeah, we don't give off enough. No, I was just trying to piss off the ghost by touching their shit. Uh, do you don't want him to touch your table? I'll touch your table. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to entice you to use the table. Ooh, Ooh give me a planchet. I'll, I'll fucking use the table. Yeah, okay. I ain't scared. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I ain't scared. Oh. We need one of the little triangle deals. There's, There's one, one in here somewhere. I ain't scared. Well, There's one in here somewhere. Somebody's been doing jello shots in here. <laughs> There's a Red Bull. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, um, it's going off. Oh, right arm. Mm, okay, okay, no, no, no. You no, got no. a little sensation there? Mm, yeah. Someone's breathing on my neck. Okay, that's what was this happening before right I said, come stand in front of the door. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is there someone in this room with us? We invite you in. Come sit at the table and have a discussion with us. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> no. What's your name? It seems as if someone, or something, wanted to communicate, so we decided to use the Ouija table. Little did we know just how much this would change the investigation. Hello. I'm just announcing that for all the spirits that may be here. Come in. Come in. Do you feel the cold air coming yeah. in the room? Yeah, that's why I walked over here. It was blowing in, like, hard. I was like, ugh. Come in. All right. Yeah. This... Cool. Do I have to do this? You do not have to do okay, it. Okay, no. I'm gonna watch. Mm -mm. Okay, so do we do both hands? Just one hand? Um, the let's just do one hand. You usually do both. Well, okay. You better not be playing Ouija board. I you definitely am. The finger. No, you're riding home with me. <laughs> no. Yeah, you, you know what? I'm riding home by myself, so I'm going to hang back that? for just a minute. Why don't what you can't see in this video is that we had also placed two K2 meters on the table. One on the yes circle and one on the no circle. While we used the table, the K2 meters were also responding to the questions we were asking. Is there a spirit here that would like to communicate with us? If so, please go to the yes. And I'm just lightly touching. Are there any people upstairs? Oh, fucking fuck that. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> I'm barely even touching this thing, guys. I'm. I shh. Just let it go. He's not gonna be able to reach. Oh yeah, I can reach. Okay, okay. No way. I hate this. <laughs> His fingers are gonna come off. Is the is it going off or anything? It did a second ago. It's trying to get there. Spirit, what is the first letter of your name? Don't take your fingers off. I'm, I'm not doing it. We're good. Hmm. The 
I forgot how to spell. Victor. V, okay. Or Vivian. It is I, okay. I. What? Oh, I hate this. No way. V I R. Virgin. Virginia. Oh. Virginia? Virginia? Is your name Virginia? That's what I was going to It's in saying it. Girl. Jenny is short for Virginia. From the block. Is your name Virginia? Or Jenny. It's Virginia. It definitely has to be. It has to be Virginia. Your name's Virginia? Are you fucking kidding me? What is her grandmother's name? It's her grandmother's name. Are you Sheldon's grandmother? Is she passed? Oh, Ask oh, a good question. Oh, oh, Y'all be quiet for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no. no Did you live here? I asked if it was your grandmother. Oh. Just after you ask a question, just hang tight and let it. Dude, this thing's like actually turning quick. <laughs> My ad ain't built for this, Virginia. <sighs> I don't. I don't know if Virginia related here. I don't know. I have a Virginia in my family, but she's still alive. It's Stephen's grandmother. Virginia, is there something you want to communicate to us? Hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I Can we go back to the nose a little bit? I'm barely touching no, it. My lower back is on fire, Virginia. <laughs> I'm barely touching it. Virginia? I don't know who you belong to. I don't know what else to ask. What's your last name? Oh, shit. <laughs> Diablo. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. You want to go somewhere? Go ahead. I know I was resting my palms because I'm fat. I'm tired. Self? <laughs> nope. She passed it. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, God. What, what is that? D? I don't know what no. it's doing. Oh, is it saying trying to say hello? It's circling. Um, we need to ask Dan a question. We're gonna we're gonna be right back. Do three circles. God, you can tell the difference when we're moving it. Two, three. All the way around, all the way around. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, uh, all right, uh, back. I don't like that. On my back. All right, we gotta find Dan real quick. Hey, Dan. We have a broken continuum on this. I'm sorry, what? So we were using the Ouija board table. Okay. We said, hello. We said, is there somebody here? Okay. K2 flashed. Went to yes. Okay. Can you tell us your name? And it spelled out Virginia. Is there a Virginia related to this place? Yeah. Come here. You're kidding me. That's her grandmother. That's her grandmother. Her grandmother. Hey, guys, come here. Are you kidding me? Yes, she's here. Oh, man, she's pretty low. Virginia Pruitt Keel. That's her grandmother. I said, are you I freaking you. kidding me? Who is it, Ty? Julio. Give me a light. I'm on a trip. I'll come. You're not going to freaking believe this. Is this room or anywhere? Like, I don't... Virginia? Virginia Pruitt. Virginia, is that you? Uh, but she didn't go. She oh, damn Chad. sure did go to a P. Chad. And then an R. The ear, oh my god! The ear. She, she was trying to spell her last name. She just wasn't stopping. That's, That's why. That's exactly where she went. Yeah, because she yeah, went Virginia from yes to talk. About. I it, forgot to tell you all that earlier. She was trying to spell Pruitt when we cut her off. I was like, yeah. let's go figure out who Virginia She's is. She's in the cemetery. Oh my god. I'll see her tomorrow. Virginia, is this you, Virginia? It's a beautiful picture. Can you come talk to us? Tell us a little bit about yourself. You actually look a lot like my grandma. I can hear. I can hear. <laughs> Chess. Why? That was cra that was crazy right there. 
Does someone have on a perfume? No. 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 Y'all don't smell that? I don't in here. No. My ear is going crazy, Chad. Maybe I'm picking up the hair. Hey. I like how it tastes. No, actually, I smell it in this room. Yeah, it's over here. It just got cold. Perfume. It's right here. Yeah, there's some fake perfume. It's in cold. There. Oh. It's, yeah. That is perfume. That's her perfume. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Virginia. That's terrifying. Yeah. No, it's not terrifying. <laughs> that's a lovely perfume. Yeah. You smell great, doll. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job, Logan. There you go, little buddy. I don't want her to kill me. She's not. She's trying that's to tell us something. Virginia. Something. We can smell you. Logan, think about how rich we'll be. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. It Thank is, you for this experience, Virginia. It is very cold right here. It's freezing yeah, she's, she's in the she said, We now move directly across the hallway as we started hearing sounds coming from the hallway and that room. I can feel you, Virginia. Now you're here. Oh, yeah. God, you feel that? I hear a swirl this time. It's like a swirl and cold sensation like right here. What do you want to say to us? That was a temp chain sensor. Oh, dude. And then out there, went at the same time. The lie in your chair. This is like really cool. Yeah, she's yeah. got to be like right. Yeah. There's something Yeah. Cool, man. This is detecting the temperature change. Yeah. She's she's right here. My elbow is freezing. But, but mm. we're not alone. She's not the only one here. I'm going to feel like there's one or two more. I don't know who the other ones are. Though. No, 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 no. Right. Oh, did you feel that coming out behind you? Did you feel that coming out behind you? Somebody just came out behind you. Someone got us screwed. See, that's the second one. I didn't. I was just saying, there's more than one. Yeah. There was somebody else in there with you. I heard someone clear their throat behind me. Well, there's. Does it sound like a dude? No. How long? It's like a. Feel, feel right here now. Feels like there's more than one. That was a little faint. Can you, can you just go to the bathroom? Can you come a little closer and tell us something? We can almost hear you. What? What do you Ooh. What was it? What is it? That was another woman's voice. Yeah. Did you just kick that? No, I haven't moved. Did you just kick that? No, I haven't moved. You didn't move that table. No, I was looking over here. That's a woman's voice. She's trying, she's trying to... You didn't move that table. No, I was looking over here. That's a woman's voice. She's trying, she's trying to... Should I just turn it off and let's let, 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 let it calm down? Right. And then go back to it in just a second. Please. As we turn off the SB7 spirit box and let the room relax, we can feel the energy leave the room. And just as we say the room feels flat, there are footsteps down the hallway, and then a mist bellows out from our room. This room feels like it went flat. Mm -hmm. It's a woman here. It's not near as cold as it was. Mm -hmm. Are you gone? We now move on to investigate one more room downstairs. Check that room. This room? No, 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 no. This room? Part of the ceiling, because it locked his room. Well, I'm colder right here. Dude, yeah, we. That's like meat locker. I'm back in the region. That sound like it's a big Ryan. Where's the? Oh, where's the recorder? Oh, it's coming up on the. Okay, thank you. Hey, you know, I am for Avery. I'm back. <gasps> do you like Ryan? Do you like me? I told you somebody like Ryan. Yes. <laughs> we whistle. <laughs> we thought you were at the hangar for a while. Were you? 
Oh, that story. Maybe. <laughs> Please That's okay. Whoa. Please don't follow us again. That has some bass on that voice. Hey. Oh, yeah. What? Whoa, what? Jackie, was that your voice just now? No. no. Is that you, Emily? Or Avery? How about you use it? Are you trying to play me a song? Well, probably. Would you like to play with some toys? Do you want to play with Ryan? Something. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Point it at him, not me. That's a lot of different voices. It is. That's like five different voices so There's far. There's a male voice in that, too. Uncle Spike, did you make a lot of money on the side when you had the girls in here? I yeah, did. Yeah, I did. You did? <laughs> Did you like it? Your wife would have found out. What? <laughs> She's stuck That's in her wheelchair. She would have found out what you were doing. You're basically a pimp. That's it. Did you promise those women room and board? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> See, they know, they know he was doing that because when the, uh, the other family bought the building back, uh, guys were showing up and they were like, where are the women? Yeah. The women weren't here anymore. Woo they know that was Woo -hoo! Yeah, I heard that. Like, Woo -hoo! Yeah. Are there any girls here tonight? Yeah. They used all these rooms back here for all the... How many girls are in this room right now? Ask it again. How many girls are in this room right now? Oh, okay. Spike, are those girls still here? Emily, Avery, are you back? Yes. Yes, there you go. Right. She likes her from Ryan. Do you like me, Avery? What are you going to do with Ryan? Are you hiding? You are, you, are you over there in the corner, Avery? Emily? Why are you hiding? Whoa. Oh, that was no. Did you hear that? that? Yes, that was not it. Yeah, somebody else is over here. That was a you know what? Wow. Hold on a second. Deacon? Deacon, did you just arrive? I just got total ch Oh my god. Yeah. The hair on my arm is standing straight up. Deacon, are yeah. you here? Goosebumps. Goosebumps, good, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens next is frankly one of the most interesting, compelling, and personal paranormal experiences I've ever had in my life. What you're about to see is personal, so much so that, at points, I walk out of the room to compose myself, partly from emotion and partly from disbelief. Morgani, are you here? Feel around my wrist. Feel around my wrist. Mm -hmm. No, a little further down my hand. Like, right, I'm going on. Uh, it's like three. Right there. I feel right there. It feels like something's trying to grab my hand. What is it? Could this response be the spirits acknowledging that I knew someone was trying to grab my hand? Here we have to pause for a moment. To anyone else, this response would simply be a name. However, the voice that came through sounds so much like my older brother that when I played this clip for my sister, she instantly commented, I didn't know Brian came on this trip. I paused the video and told her, 
that he didn't. The voice you just heard came from the speaker. To add another layer of validity to this clip, my brother's wife was supposed to join us on this investigation, but couldn't at the last moment. And her name is Bridget. We all believe this was my dad asking, where's Bridget? It's just Ted. There's a Ted associated here? There's a Ted. Yeah. Do we know where Ted came from? We think Ted was one of the guys who used to come here. And he used to mess around a lot. <laughs> Dad, was that you? <laughs> Chad! Wait, what did it say? I said Dad. Violin. Did you take this from me for a second? Yes, I will. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Did you say your name? No. I violin. You gotta go. What? I said, Dad, is that you? And violin was played the very next day. The violin got played. And I was a concert violinist. Dad, did you follow me here to play around? I'm ready. You can scare me. Chad. Come on, Dad. If this is you, you gotta do better than this. Scare shit out of me. Your battery is almost dead. Dad, what was your middle name? Did that say Edward? Edward. Edward. Did you say Edward? Are you Are you Edward? Edward? Are you kidding me? Your dad is here? <laughs> Chad, remember the last time we went? Remember? Okay, so just listen, just listen. And you kept saying it's a bad, you thought it was bad. It this wasn't. doesn't feel like that. What did I kept what did I keep saying? Maybe you should follow okay. him around looking over your shoulder, you know? That type of thing. Yeah, make sure the, the that's the thing. Like, I said, Ted, 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 Hey, Ted. Hey, Ted. Chad is learning how to fly an airplane. Are you proud of him? We're helping to teach him. Are you proud of him? See? That thing is flashing. That's just flash. That's my dad, guys. You're proud yeah. of him? Yeah, I think he's just scared because he probably follows you around and you just don't know it. A lot of stuff. Dad, if that's you, can you can you touch the K2 meter? No, no. Dad comes through. Did you touch the Did you touch the Baby, he's just trying to tell you happy birthday. Dad, are you trying to tell me happy birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta take a second. That's the same voice, too. I gotta take a second. That would be. Yeah, you got Ted? I think you're right. You got Ted. Ted, are you here? Ted? Seriously. Listen to the voice. Seriously, Ted, are you here? Ask him to ask him something to ask him. Mom's gonna be here tomorrow. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my heavens. Do you want to talk to her? That's when, it, that's when it's going to stick around. The trumpet. For tomorrow. That sounded like Dad, can you be here tomorrow? Talk to her. It just flashed Please. all the way up. Yeah. 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 Did you hear that? He My said, dad? yeah, clearer than day. <laughs> oh. He came through the Ouija board, man. That's, that's what I'm feeling. Oh, it just got cold. Yeah, it's getting I cold. I have chills in my legs. I think he... Are you excited about tomorrow? I dare you to scare me, Dad. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay. My dad <laughs> took his scaring... This is going to be funny, Dad, so... I'm sorry, because it's hilarious. So... Brian, you know I was in karate for nearly 20 years. Yeah. And I got my first black belt when I was 15. Love battery. We had a, that's a, I don't care. Okay. We had this hallway that went from the living room all the way down to the bedrooms in our house. And my dad was a prankster. He loved to like hide and jump out and scare you and do crazy crap. Well, one night I went to the kitchen and I got a drink. And, you know, I'm sitting there drinking my drink. And then I start to walk around the kitchen, back to the living room, to hit that hallway, and I hear a noise, and I'm like, what the hell? And I look back at the kitchen, and I realize the blinds that go out the back door have been open. 
And so I'm like, oh shit, there's somebody in the house. And so I start creeping down the hallway, getting here, creeping down the hallway. My dad jumps out because he thought I was somebody breaking in the house. He goes, oh, like that. And I went, boom, and kicked him in the ribs, broke four ribs. We had to go to the hospital. You remember that, Dad? What do you want me to see? I'm right here to show it. As we take a moment to collect ourselves, we ponder over the events that just happened. However, during our discussion, someone else wants our attention. We cut it off because I didn't realize, we just thought I was doing a circle. First time, go something or whatever, and you just heard all that over. Was he there? Yeah. Did you hear with your dad? <laughs> what, what do you think about that? I, so I was skeptical before the Ouija board, and then I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I'm uncomfy. I don't know about this. And so I was like, that's, that's a little scary. But when, but when you yeah, heard the dog. stuff, well, right, yeah, I cr come across the spirit box. We were, we were talking about because uh, we first, I first heard a bunch of different voices, like the yeah. little girls and stuff, and we were like, we think that they were trying to tell his dad how to use it, and so that it took a second to, for him to know how to use it because they. I'm just saying. That makes sense. I guess what I'm asking is. Which side of the Explain thing? how this happens. <laughs> See, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look. I've been doing it for five or six years, and I'm amazed every time it happens. But yeah, I, it's incredible. Man. It's incredible. It's, it's yeah. You know, so so. How do you feel? <laughs> and now, my day job is a data scientist, right? So I collect data. So how do how do you explain that? How do you explain? And can't. <laughs> there was, it, you know, one thing you can go coincidence, uh -huh. but how many times did that correspond direct oh, instant? Yeah. That's see, my my opinion is, and, 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 and well, I don't know. I don't know. My opinion, look, paranormal is real. It's as real as it gets. I don't yeah. know what it is, but I know well, it's real. It, it, <laughs> one of the laws of energy is energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Right. It still exists. It yeah. just transfers to a new state. Yeah. I know what I I know what people think it is, and I know what I think it is, but I'm still not convinced that it's that. But I will say I'm convinced it's real. Yeah, totally. I am too. It's totally real. I just, I ain't convinced. It's it's I don't know how it works, but I know it's real. Yeah. It's dark in here. Good job. Uh, you're going I heard something moving in there earlier too. Like that door tried to open or something. That looks dark in here. Good job. Uh, you're going I heard something moving in there earlier too. Like that door tried to open or something. It's awesome that, that you got. I was walking by here and it sounded like someone tried to open that door. Hey, oh, what I will say, what, what, what I meant to tell you, what I meant to tell you a couple of minutes ago is we had the uh, spirit box come out here. That I'm thing fine. for five minutes just as dead as I mean nothing. Oh, yeah. So what you guys got, it validates that way. Yeah, because y'all were doing it the same time we were. Then. It validates what you got even more because, because we should have been getting the same thing. Yeah, we got. Nothing. If it was true, if it was as the skeptics would say, radio frequency bleed yeah. through, then we should have had the same experiences. Yeah. And I mean seriously, we didn't even get a bleep. I mean, we didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're and it over you know 40 sequences of scan is it it's saying things in a continuous sentence it wasn't just like eh, nah, nah, eh, nah. it was like Edward and it that long it took but it's doing so it's good stuff man. our teams now regroup and switch places so follow us now as we move upstairs where things continue to make contact in more ways than one. Let's do it. Are there any ladies up here tonight? Logan's looking for a good time. Oh, <laughs> oh, let's not attempt the face, shall we? Lap dances. He's got that thing in his lap. Can you set it off? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking about the K2 meter. <laughs> I am talking about the K2 meter, but I couldn't resist a good show. <laughs> oh, strippers crying. 
Yeah, it actually feels like it's getting colder over here. Just a little. My arm just got super numb. That was weird. Like that. Like tingly numb or just dead just numb? Just dead. <laughs> dead numb. <laughs> Can no longer look my arm. That's fine. Are you trying to touch Logan? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, here, here. Totally. Take off your jacket. Okay. Take off your jacket. You could have just been touched. Oh. Because when you get touched, it will feel like static and cobwebs. That's the, the only way I can describe it. It kind of feels like you walk through cobwebs or cobwebs touch you. Perfume? Did you smell perfume? No, no, my nose is just running. If you just tried to touch Logan, can you do that again? Touch his arm? He's never felt it. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can you touch his arm or yank on his shirt? Or he didn't. Mm-hmm. Or the light was Whoa! Dude! I saw that. The light? I saw that. There was like an orb of light that just went behind you, dude. I saw that. Dude, get the... I'm recording it. I, I saw it on the camera. That's how I saw it. They just did it again. They like you, Logan. We're going to leave you here alone, man. Mm-hmm. Can you pull on Logan's shirt? Tug it. I can see his sleeve right there. Can you grab that little piece of fabric and just give it a good yank? Or pluck his hat off. <laughs> Flip him out of the chair. Anything. <laughs> just don't run him into me. <laughs> Dude, it looks like that little flap of fabric on your arm is actually know, moving. I know. Dude, it's moving. It sure is. Now give it a good yank. You're, you're, I can tell you're trying to grab at it. Yank the shit out of it. That's going to be a big bleep. That's going to be awesome. Yank the bleep out of it. Dude, it... I'm like not even breathing. It's like something's getting ready to yank your shirt, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cobwebs? Yeah. <laughs> Logan got fingered by a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why Ryan doesn't want to come to the hospital. <laughs> and the only way I can describe it is it kind of feels like staticky cobwebs. Turn that on. Let's see if it's fun. Alright, we're going to turn the spirit box on. Though we didn't get anything on the spirit box, the amount of light anomalies around Logan during this interaction was phenomenal. My team now moves into the children's room, where we attempt to talk to the child spirit of Emily. Are you in this closet? Oh my god! Me? Anybody? I can hear you. Stick your arm in that closet. Oh, it's real cold in there. Come on out and play. Oh, <gasps> come on. I didn't let go of that. Are you out here? Yeah, I'll get out of your way. Are you scared? It's touching my arm. Dude, that is so freaking cold. Come play with Chad. You want to play with that white ball? Yeah. I was in the closet. Mm-hmm. You can come out of the closet. It's okay. I told you, we're not here to hurt you. I know it's, you're not supposed, dude, like the whole right side of my body is goose bombed. I know you're, you're not supposed to talk to strangers, but I've been here a few times. I think we've talked before. Is your name Emily? Emily, if that's you, you can come out and play with us. I would really like to play with you again. I heard there's a boy that likes to take your teddy bear. If you'll show me which one, I'll get on to him about that too. That's not right. Can you come talk into this?
The name Rachel will come into play in a very big way on day two. All you have to do is get really close and talk. Why? Why? So we can hear you. already what is your name what is your name Make it out. We're having a hard time hearing you. What is your name? Emily. Are you sure? I stirred that. What is your name? One more time. Can you say your name one more time, please? It's not like it. Why do you keep asking? Keep asking. Me? Did you say hello to us one time? And giggle? Is that you? Did you say hello to us and giggle one time and we catch you on audio? Oh, it's me. It sounds like maybe somebody's trying to tell her to stop talking. But that, that hasn't gone off at all. Well, a couple of blips. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go now. We now turn our attention downstairs with Kristen's team as they have a few encounters in the Ouija table. Room. To me, to make me afraid of you. I don't know about the rest of these folks. I know you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want us? Do you want us to get the planchette so you can talk to us on this Ouija board? Would that help? You light all three of them up. Give me an answer. No, you must so not. Hmm? I hear it too. I heard footsteps out yeah. the hallway. Yep. Really? Yep. Yeah. I heard tap or shuffle. You heard it too? I heard a shuffle. I didn't, I There's nothing you can though. possibly do to scare Ryan? <laughs> Ryan. Or me. We are not scared of you. I heard it twice. Yeah, it I was did. Like a you good? Did you see something? Shh. What? What is it, girl? She's what? hearing it. Well, I'm not hearing nothing. This is more... you're deaf. Yeah, you're talking. No, this is more sensitive. I thought I saw a shadow just come, like a shadow person just come out of that wall right there. Well, what Kristen on. sees does not fully appear on the handheld camera. But if we watch the hallway DVR, we can see a shadow on the wall that doesn't match up to the light movement coming from Kristen's camera. What? What? What, what is it, girl? She's here. Well, come on. We're waiting for you. Get back in here. I ain't waiting. <laughs> Get back in here. 
There ain't nothing you can do to scare us. Uh uh. We're good. You come see us. You ain't gonna scare us. Come talk to us, you wimp. Can you light up the devices on the table? If you get near them, they'll light up for us. Spirit box? Do it. Do it? Yep. What's your name? Well, I'll go with that. What's your... You know... Did they say if it's mood form or not? Yes, it's spelled yes. out. It's supposed to move It's spelled out Virginia... This is not easy Pruitt. to move. <laughs> no. Virginia Pruitt. Oh, look, I have no energy, but I'm going to give it all I got. Uh, Ask him who it is again. Is there any spirits here with us? <gasps> oh, all three of them! All three of them! All three of them! Is somebody getting this? I'm getting it. Oh. Whoever's touching the green lights, can you move the planchette? Cheryl, give me your hand. Hold, hold, hold. No, you're there. Hold her hand. Hold her hand with the other hand. Oh, no. Mom? No. Come on. <laughs> You're inviting my daughter into something. <gasps> Look at that. Come on, come on. Grab her hand. Mom. I'm recording. I can't. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Grab his hand with your... Yeah, yeah there you go. I just stretch over the freaking dick. Okay. So y'all are here. There's, there's a spirit here. This is very... It stopped. Weird. We're giving you... It stopped as soon We're as giving you our energy to come through. I don't like this. Who said that? I do. Don't whisper it. Yet. So I don't like this at all. All right, all right. Well, it's okay. going off again. I don't like this. Well, look, you're here. You lit all through that. As soon as we all stopped holding hands, they Oh, my off. goodness. All right. So you right? You all right, Ryan? I'm shivering. You cold? I, I don't know. I'm just shivering. Uh oh. Uh. Are you touching Ryan? How old are you? That one is going crazy. Can you make them all light up again? Damn, I'm not getting any of this on video. Okay. Does, does, does the name Chad mean anything to you? Light them all three up. He was down here earlier. All right, well, we're just here. It's me. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. How about the other one? We need one more. That one, one stayed oh the goodness. same this whole time. Oh they need something oh up with that one. You got this, right? Can you light this one up, too? Oh, thank you. Okay. Stop. Stop lighting them up, because we're going to ask you some questions, okay? I need you to stop, please. Stop. Uh, you all right, Ryan? I'm just shivering. Drop my hoodie. I, I got a feeling either. this is all coming from him because he's got energy. I don't know how This shit. is an extra <clears throat> lunch for the end of Okay. Are you male? Yes. Are you female? It lit up for male. I know it did. Are you a child? That was a shake. Are you an adult? No. Are you deacon? Are you Henry? Can you spell out your name on this board? Mm, son of a bitch, look at that. Okay, please do so. Spell out your name on the board. What's the first letter of your name? I, I can't sit upright to do this. This chair's got me. Okay. Now look, me, me I'm and I'm shaking. You still shaking? No. Me and Ryan, I mean, we're touching the planet yet, so you're going to have to move it a little bit and help us out here. You give us the first letter of your name. you got to get your elbows off the table. Oh, now she's asking a lot. <laughs> well, that's the rules. All right, there we go. All right. Move the planet yet. They're trying to help you. Spell out your name. That is just uncanny. See, it went from one to the other. Well, do you have a message for us? Are there more than one of you? 
Oh, I'm there. Okay, you're by yourself. Yes or no? Are you afraid of us? Mm. Well, see what's interesting about like, this, this right here <laughs> is if one goes off, they should all they're close enough together they should all go off. Yeah. So it's interesting if one goes off and the other two don't. So can you light one of those up? I mean all the way. Just give it hell, man. Just like hold your breath and go at it like you never went at it before. Give it some energy. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, what happened? What? Nothing. Oh. It's cold. It is getting colder in here. Yeah, it's cold. Are you taking the heat out of the room? Are you absorbing the energy? It's cold. Are you trying to make me cold? <sighs> Are you just done talking to us? <laughs> oh, shit. That was awesome. Right at this moment, Kiki captures something on camera. It moves fast and past her, and even when we break it down frame by frame, we can't make out the shape. However, it does have mass, and it alters the IR light from the camera. Are you using the energy so that you can have the energy to make them light up the room so that you could do that? Are you using the energy so that you can... Let us know what you think this could be. And now, we will leave you with this. As if the events of tonight weren't enough, we tried for one more experience downstairs. As we sit in the Ouija table room, we call out for a response. And what we get, we didn't expect. Can you finish this? Oh my god! I got it, I got it on, I got it on audio. Where'd it come, where'd it come from? Always. Very good, very good. And someone's coming down. Now let's look back at the timing of everything and compare when sound is heard versus Kristen's walking. Can, can you finish this? Now let's listen to the difference in the sound of each knock. And since these are being captured by the same recorder, there is a major difference to listen for. In the recreation, not only can you hear the volume difference, you can hear tonality of the knocks. They have different pitches while the original are the same, just like you would get banging on a wall. But if this little bit of debunking isn't enough, listen to the final EVP we captured. The timing of that earlier that was just... Oh, yeah, man. That because timing you, was immaculate. You thought we would have heard intermittent steps between that, yeah. but we didn't hear yeah. intermittent steps. Just the duck duck. Did you knock earlier? Did you knock earlier? Day one of our weekend investigation of the Old Park Hotel offered a multitude of different evidence and experiences. As we lay down to rest, the hotel spirits carry on through the early morning light. And, as the sun breaks a new dawn, we too have a new day of investigating to do. Not just at the old park, but at the massive cemetery down the road. We find some unusual details about the past of this town, and it clearly rings true to the inhabitants of the old park hotel. Join us next time for day two of our investigation, and see how this extremely active hotel reacts when the crew of the Ghost Geeks discover the name of a new spirit that has found refuge in the walls of this century-old establishment.